Let's go on. Okay, now we go to China, and probably we have to move a little bit more quickly. A lot of you have been there, okay? Now, this is, these are ancient Chinese mosques. Um, you know, they are beautiful. And those of you who've been there, I think that you're like me, that when you go into them, you don't want to come out. You pray there, you say, I don't want to leave. And you go through gardens to get there, which are Zen gardens to empty your heart. So your anxieties are gone. When you go to the mosque, you don't think about anything but your creator. And this is very Chinese. And they did it also by the explicit permission of the emperor. Because Islam, when it came into China, which is in the days of the rightly guided caliphs, probably, or some say the prophets, they were an official Chinese religion from the beginning. And we brought, and the emperor asked for armies. He said, send me your Muslim armies. And I, and I want them to defend me against the Mongols, against the Tibetans, and I will honor them. And he did. And so we stood by the Chinese emperor. Okay, Muslims today is like, what? But that's what we did. And in fact, he said, bring the soldiers, but don't bring any women. So what's he got in mind? I'm going to marry you to Chinese women, beautiful Chinese women. But, and then we'll do it again and again. So after a while, you basically become Chinese. You could still be Muslims. But I don't want you to bring your Persian or Arab women. Come and I'll marry you. You can bring soldiers that are not married. Okay, that's what he did. Chinese are smart. They're very smart. Let's keep going. Okay, that's a minaret. Again, this is what we call North Eastern China. You've got different cultural zones in China. Northeastern, Northwestern. They're different. And then Southern. They're very different, but they're all beautiful. Okay, and that's their minaret because Chinese don't like tall buildings. So they don't want you to have a big, big minaret. That's in the Northeast. Keep going. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Go back, please. Okay. So, Chinese, you know, it's difficult for the Chinese to say some things we say. You know, like Islam, they say, Yisila, Yisila. Okay, so, and then you say Yisila, and of course you write it like fragrant orchids or something, and they read it Yisila. So that's nice, not Donald Duck. Okay, but you know, they use these different ideograms and they read yi si la. But that means to the Chinese, you're not Chinese because I don't understand what yi si la is. So is that good? I mean, you have to think about this, brothers and sisters, because Islam terrifies most of the white people out there, except for the really cool ones, right? But a lot of them is like, you're, you're a Muslim? Oh my God, you know? Gonna have a heart attack. Sisters wearing those terrorists. Look at all of them. You know? That's what they are, aren't they? A lot of them are that way, and you've experienced that. I know my wife has, and a lot of others have. Okay? So maybe we also could use Islam because we love it, but we could also find another way to refer to it. You know? And that's what the Chinese did. So they said it is Islam. If you can pronounce it, fantastic. But it's also Qing Zhen Chao, the religion of Qing, which is pure, and Zhen, which is real, the religion of the pure and the real. Okay, like you really won big time. Because then the Chinese is like, oh, really? Like that sounds a lot like ancient Chinese religion, sounds a lot like Confucius and Lao Tzu. Really, tell me more. See, that's smart. And they did that in all kinds of things. So, for example, you say the unseen for Ghaib. You can't say that in Chinese. So they say the color world and the no color world. Because that's what Chinese understand. The unseen means there's no colors. They're kind of smart, actually. Chinese are kind of smart. Okay, so let's go. So that's in Jinjanja. 
that now we've come down into the south. This mosque is incredible. This mosque is in Shandai. And this mosque is now you're in the south. See, the colors are different. The woodwork is different. Um, it's red. All, the, all of it is by order of the emperor. And you want to know how you can tell that? Go to the next slide. You, you see that? Well, you can't see it very well, but you know, on that wall, there is, of course, a black roof, or black little roofing, right? But that's actually a dragon. Again, if you go there, you can see that clearly. It's a dragon. Why you put a dragon on the mosque? Why do you think? Does that mean this belongs to the emperor of China? You steal anything from this mosque. You break any window. Oh my God. You've got to deal with the emperor and he'll cut your head off. Because he's basically got one punishment. Cut their head off. See, so like you try to do anything in this mosque, but you've got to go for the black dragon and that is the emperor. So it's guarded by the black dragon. Let's keep going. This is the same mosque. You see how they... And you know this, the Chinese Arabic calligraphy, which they developed over 1,400 years. And you know it's Arabic, but it does fit in with Chinese, doesn't it? Yes. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Keep going. See? And then you see, they developed this incredible Chinese Arabic calligraphy. But, and you've probably seen the calligraphers do that, because they come to visit us sometimes. Right? And they do it usually two strokes. Right? And then they put Chinese calligraphy, classical Chinese calligraphy, that tells you a beautiful story about what this means. And then he puts his Chinese authorization and his Muslim authorization, Islam and the cultural imperative. Because the Chinese love calligraphy and so do we. See, that's beautiful. And now you're speaking to them. You want them also to be able to read. And I've been to China and taken Chinese guides who are non-Muslims, they've never been in a mosque, and they're just reading everything. Primordial religion from the foundation of heaven. It's four idioms. Primordial religion from the foundation of heaven. Wow. Good time, isn't it? Isn't it? It is. Let's keep going. Okay. What are those? Looks like Chinese, doesn't it? But it's Arabic upside down. And it's the Asnaul Husna. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Salam Is that allowed? Yeah, really. Don't, don't worry about it. But see, it's the Chinese like that. 